And we are back with Keeping It Real Real Estate with Kathy Wilcox. And my next guest uh, is a David Moore. Excuse me, David. I have two You're different right. names. You're right, David Moore. Okay, I have Dave Sawyer here. Where, where did that come from? I have no clue. I do apologize. This is David Moore. I'm so glad I read it off the sheet here. So welcome to the show. Thank you. And tell us what you do. I'm, I am I apologize. I got my information late. Yeah. I thought you were a realtor, but that's not the case because we open this up to all venues of real estate. You're actually a lender. Correct. So Correct. Yes. tell us about that and what you do with this other organization. I'll let you all right. Sounds explain good. that. All right. Well, I've been, uh, been in real estate now for about 12 years altogether. Uh, I've been doing mortgage lending uh, basically the majority of the time. Uh, actually, the story starts a long time ago, about 12 years ago, you know, when I first got involved in real estate, I was uh, getting my master's degree here in Fresno. Um, a couple of my buddies and the, and the instructor said, hey, you know, let, look at these numbers for real estate projections, you know, for the next five, five, ten years here in Central Valley. Um, this was right around 2007. So um, uh, we were about halfway, three quarters of the way through our master's degree. We all kind of formed together and we bought a, a real estate franchise started a real estate company in, in Visalia. Um, we grew to about 45 different agents um, that we had working for us. And then you guys know what happened in 2007, 2008, uh, yeah. the bubble popped yes, on, on real estate. So we went shortly from, uh, back then we went from, I mean, having three offices down to two, oh. down to one, down to none. Ooh. I mean, within three to four months, because we were just a startup. That, oh that fast. Gosh, yeah, wow. I, was, I was doing the lending for everybody wow. back then, for all of our agents, for everybody like that. And I bet it was a, a, oh, it was, a big time back then. It was crazy. I mean, because I remember one month, I, in one week, I had 10 different fundings that were going to happen. That means you, you make it past underwriting. You make it past. You're, you're, at the, you're at the table where people have already signed, and the bank's going to fund the money. And all 10 of those banks said, we are not doing any funding anymore. And they were all 10 different banks. Wow. So I went from, you know, having 30 different, 30, 40 different lenders to work with, down to 20, down to 10, oh my gosh. just like within a few months. And um, during that time, it was, it was pretty crazy. So, um, you know, but I still kind of did lending on the side. I had to get a part-time job. I started uh, teaching at San Joaquin Valley College, being an instructor there and stuff. And uh, did did lending on the side still, but you know it was, it was tough right after that time. I bet. It, it was, was like a, it, was a, it was a bad time for everybody. It was ridiculous. You yeah. couldn't even. I mean, just trying to find a lender, just to even accept somebody with. They wouldn't touch you with a oh, ten foot pole. You right? had to have eight hundred credit score. <laughs> right. You know, walk on water. Yeah, you had yeah. to be Jesus Christ <laughs> himself. You know, and superstar. <laughs> yeah, it was it was pretty crazy back then, and uh, um, so you know, again, I had to I had to start working full time job after that because we lost. I I put everything into it. I mean, I sold my house, oh, <laughs> you know, to start this company. That's heartbreaking. And uh, you know, and I, had, my wife wasn't working at the time, so I had a wife and three kids. Oh my gosh! You know, that I was supporting by myself, and you know, and ended that was up gone. Yeah, gone, just like that. Jeez. Poof, within like three, four months, you know. And uh, um, so yeah, it was, I mean, it was a rough time, you know. But uh, you know, I still stayed in it part time. I, you know, I worked full time, but then I jumped back into the fire, as I say. You know, I started working for Wells Fargo about about five, six years ago. Um, doing mortgage lending for them out of Isalia and uh, just got reconnected back with everybody that actually kind of made it through that. Yeah, survived uh, <laughs> the battle. Everybody that still had their their hair or <laughs> w wasn't in a hospital somewhere. <laughs> all, Heavily medicated. Yeah. <laughs> on their 18th wife. And, yeah, and you right. know, I, I, I ended up going through a divorce during that time oh. too, you know. So oh just uh, it, was, it was a rough time, you know. So, um, I'm gonna have to have a tissue. Do you have any <laughs> tissues? No, it's not like that. Hey, I made plenty of mistakes myself, so you know it's uh, one of those. But things. it was it was a horrible time. It was a bad so time for for a lot of people. Let's of fast people. forward. Fast to forward. Better times. Fast forward. Better times now. When I jump yes. back into real estate, it's been fantastic. Uh, Great. You know, Good news. The interest rates have been super super low. The lowest I've ever seen it in my for this career long. for this long. It's sustainable. Low interest rates have been driving. I have had no lack of customers that have been wanting to either refinance or purchase a house. Um, I focus more on purchase than refinance, um, you know, because that's that's more sustainable than, than refis. Because if interest rates go up, you're not going to have people wanting to refi, but you're still going to have people wanting to buy. You know, right, so right. Um, so you always got to focus on the purchase market. You know, so 
um, but just a steady stream of people. Just a great time to buy right now. I, I tell everybody this. You so know, it's a buyer's market. It's from a your great time to buy right now. Okay, fantastic. And I don't just say that because I'm in the business. It's, I mean, after you know, you go through a divorce, you lose a business, you go through some stuff there. You know, I, I ended up buying a house. You know, first first time, um, I'm super appreciative that I was able to do that even and everything. You know, and first house I bought since my divorce and. Um, it's a fantastic time, so I'm not just saying it; I'm doing it too. That's nice. You know? That's so, good. That's great news. Um, yeah, I always like to say what I do, but, um, um, but but now, Dave, you are involved with another organization. Yes, correct. correct. And I want to definitely move into that because that sounds like something that is going to be of interest to a lot of people. Yeah, we'll we'll we'll, we'll see. We'll, we're we're hoping. It's, okay, it's going to end up doing that, you know. And, um, yeah, we, we formed a corporation called YPN Incorporated. Um, YPN. Yeah, YPN stands for Young Professionals Network. Okay, it's um, basically, kind of, it, back in the day, it was, it, it was an offshoot of uh, Realtor Magazine. Okay? Oh, okay. So they kind of started this thing. Younger realtors kind of picked up on it and said, hey, you know, we're going to start, you know, having our own little, you know, our own YPN, our Young Professionals Network that we're going to do, which is underneath the... Um, kind of the, I guess, the wing of the local association of realtors, okay? So they're a sub-chapter of the local association of realtors, okay? So that's the way, you know, it kind of started out. And there's it's still around. It's it's a vibrant community. Um, real estate agents, they're just not the most outgoing in the world, you know? So, you know, you don't hear about it a whole too lot, you know? But in reality, they have chapters set up in, in almost every single major, actually every single major city in the entire United States, um, and then almost every single city that has at least 50,000 people uh, and more. So wow. nationwide, it's a huge, huge market um, that's already set up, and they're already there. They're already networking with each other. And um, the only thing is they're not all connected, you know. So they're all independent, you know, of each other. They all and, – and, and because they're an offshoot of the Association of Realtors, they have to do – you know, they can't do anything outside of what – you know, the associations allow them to do. So there's certain rules another. and regulations. There's rules and regulations around it, yeah, that, that they have to do or, or not have to do and stuff like that, you know, so. Okay, so being, you know, being who I am, so you have a young professionals network. Is there a corresponding old professional network? Yeah. Uh, or is that just for everybody else? You know what, my, my opinion, when I think of young professionals network, you know, we had people of every age in there. It, okay. it doesn't matter. Young Professionals Network is for people who um, enjoy doing real estate, want to learn, and want to help other people in the business learn and grow in their professional That's careers. That's great. And I don't care. I mean, it doesn't matter what age you are. You so know, there's so. no age limit. No age limit. Okay. It's just That's just the name of it, YPN. So I, guess, <laughs> I think that's important to get out yeah. there because you, it kind of it sounds like a, 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 a fraternity or yeah, a nope. sorority or something. So <laughs> Nothing like all, that at all. All are welcome. Yep. Everybody's welcome. Anybody, I've had so many people... Um, you know, uh, you know, reach out to me on social media. Now we have over a hundred and I looked yesterday, hundred and thirty nine thousand members. Wow. Um, just and we just started because you know it's already a, a market that's set up there. You know, it's 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 um, you know it's kind of the millennial market. You know, age mm -hmm. you know eighteen to thirty eight ish. But most millennials are not even in real estate. You know, they're they're they're. You know, they don't know much about it or, or, you know, they don't know how to buy a home or anything like that. So this is kind of one of those things where, where we're, you know, helping educate things. I've talked to, um, uh, well, actually, I was, I was approached by representatives from San Francisco and L.A. Um, because I wasn't a realtor. Uh, because I don't have to fall underneath um, the realtor's wings, mm -hmm. in, in a sense. You know, I, I I'm, I'm in totally You're an independent. Independent. Yeah. Totally different. Gotcha. You know, so, but, you know, I work with them every day. And so I understand the business. You know, I sit down with people all the time and I get the finance for a home, um, you know, and so I understand the business inside and out. Um, and the thing of it is, is, is if, if we could connect all the different uh, cities and uh, places that have YPN, it can be probably one of the biggest it sounds incredibly national powerful. organizations that, that we have here in the United States right now. Strength in numbers, yeah. for sure. Yeah, the millennial generation in terms of numbers um, is one third larger than the baby boomer generation now. So, um, and for the next, <laughs> for the, I'm on the tail end of, of the millennials. You know, I'm just, I have 14 age kids. So I'm. You're kidding. No. It, it, so I, you know, I. You have no idea how that depresses me. Oh, <laughs> 
tell him. <laughs> I, 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 try, so young. I try to talk to my daughter, and she just closes the door. She's like, uh, just Snapchat me, Dad. Exactly. And I'm like, text me. I'm like, what, 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 are, you, what are you talking about? You my, can't do that to me. <laughs> my daughter is 31. We text each other from right. corresponding rooms. Yeah, right, we don't right. need to talk to each other. Yeah. It's so weird. <laughs> it's but weird. you know what? It's, 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 that's the way it is. And, and the millennial generation, we're half of us... You know, and I'm on the tail end of it. I'm 36 years old, you know, and I think the like the age range is from, you know, 18 to 37 or something that like right? that. You know, yeah, it, it, people have all different numbers for it. But, you know, it's it's one of those things where my kids' generation, they have been online since they were... They were born into they it. They were born into it. And we, see, we, in, we, half of our lives, you know, you can talk to somebody, you can call them, and then by the time you got... To, <laughs> Got to where you're going, you could call them again, but there's no in between talking or anything like that, you know. Right. So, oh. but uh, the younger that's all they know, oh, honey, that's all they know, honey. You're so. talking to somebody who still use pay phones, okay? <laughs> so, did I. Oh, hey, oh. Hey, I did too. Shoot, <laughs> holla. Oh, wow. I, hey, I'm because our generation we're kind of weird because we're split. The millennials are, are split. We have you know, half of our lives we we didn't have you know, any type of we didn't have pagers, there was no cell phones. There was, I remember them all coming out, and we were like all excited, you know. So, um, uh, you know, and then, then the second half of our life, we got this technology, right? And then we we're all excited and we wanted to use it, and more and more and more. Now, all of us, we're as much online as you could possibly be. The millennial generation is one of the most socially connected uh, generations that, um, that has ever been. I want to say the most. I would so, believe that. I would believe um, that. And my generation. We have to. We we really don't have a choice. Right. I hate technology. Right. right. I I love my cell phone though. I mean, I love my iPhone. That's right. great. Right. But you know, the rest of it. Uh, unfortunately, we have to we have to wrap up on that. Now. <laughs> uh, um, Sorry. We, we could. But, buy, I, I probably I could probably talk to you for like three hours. I, I would love this, for you to so, come you know. back. I don't think you got a fair. Um, uh, you, we ran a little long. Would I'm you good. please come back and yeah, talk to us absolutely. more? Do you have a website you can put up real quick? Uh, yeah. There's one ypn.com. Oh, we don't. Okay. Well, okay. Just tell us ypn.com. Yep. Yeah, it's one ypn.com. We're getting ypn. Uh, dot com. It's just the person that owns it wants a whole lot of money for it. So. Um, okay. That's the problem. Uh, but we do have ypn.us okay. that we have that we're developing right now too, and um, you know that's another thing we offer is, is websites for real estate agents too. That's great. So uh, we have a lot of things going on. We got uh, you know own about probably 500 different domains uh, now. Uh, we offer websites. We offer um, we're transforming it into a social networking uh, website so that realtors can go on there and actually talk to each other that's and great. get help. And and not like you know a lot of these companies out there that you see you go online and all you could do is submit an email and you might get a, a response Possibly. back some, if that yeah. you know uh, because it's all automated now right, you know right. but now a, a site where people could go on you know a young realtor a young mortgage lender somebody can go on there and actually type in some you know and say hey you know I, I need help with this or you know what what would you do about this and actually get the help that they need um, you know that's the reason why I, you know why I'm so passionate about it, you know, stuff is because, um, you know, not a lot, of, there's not a lot of help out there anymore, yeah. you know, and, uh, you know, I don't want my kids growing up in a world where, you know, they don't have a way to find some help that they need, you know, for growing in their profession, growing in their career, um, and, and finding a place that they could kind of call home, I guess exactly. you could say, you know, and, exactly. You know, and real estate's a great field to be in. It's one of the most long-sustaining fields to be in. That's why we're coming up and with our magazine. It can, it can uh, and it creates uh, you know, employment, especially right. here in the Central Valley. Right. I mean, you know, where we need it. And uh, um, so, anyways. Well, <laughs> I know we could go on and yeah. on. I, please come back because okay. I, I can tell there's tons more that we can talk right. about and help. But thank you so much, yep. David, for coming thank in. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me. And thanks Appreciate for joining that. us this week. And we'll see you soon. Thank you.